Hey guys, we got a wish package here and we're gonna open her up and see what we got. I think this one is not late, depending on what it is. Okay, yeah, so this is what I've ordered for the tiny house. Um, these are 3 amp, 3.1 amp, or 3 amp DC DC converters. Uh, with the quick charge and output uh, 5 volt 3 amp DC 3 of them for the tiny house because we know my uh, well we're not getting enough power to the all the equipment all those battery packs that I charge so there we go this will solve that Let's see if we can get a clear picture it doesn't want to really focus there we go two ports this is the quick charge port and I guess they're both quick charge but three amps so three of those hey guys got a little subway for lunch as you can see just got to the tiny house 47.7 Fahrenheit inside, 49.5 Fahrenheit outside, and it's 65% humidity in, and 63% out. Celsius, 8.7 in, 9.7 out, and uh, I'm going to put a little fire on now that we got our fan working, and I also brought over, guys, um, those new 3 amp um, 12 volt DC DC converters I got one left here that replaces my older ones and now it should really be pushing the the power out of these things because um, before um, it just wasn't giving it enough juice so we'll see what happens and I'm going to turn this on this is my uh, that's the that's the uh, timer that I set up to control my fan switch here so we're oh and I've been using um, Mike gave me a solar cooker and I use one of these pans to keep the cold air from coming in on top of my fresh air so we'll have to uh, get the stove all set up here and I'm gonna do something a little different I'm gonna layer some wood in first and then the pellets and we'll see if I can uh, make that work I'm gonna put you guys right close into the action here and uh, and I also chiseled off a few pieces of um, uh, just starting material but I'm gonna try out this little different method here um, just to see now this one may be too big for the stove is it yeah it is maybe no I can't squeeze it in there I have to give that a little chop well we'll deal with that later I'll get a couple smaller pieces and just layer the bottom of the, the the stove here. I leave the ashes in, guys. Um, might as well. What the hell? Right? So I'm going to put these down into the bottom there. And then I'm going to go grab some uh, pellets and we'll do those next. Now, this is going to be a little bit trickier for me to film because. Um, I need the room to get this stuff up and going. There we go.
All right, I'm gonna put the camera down for a second and build this up a little bit more. Alrighty guys, so I kind of loaded it up a little bit. We'll see if this uh, works out okay for us. And I'm just gonna use a barbecue lighter here. Close my wood storage compartment. And I added some, this gel is uh, really good, recommended by Pierre from the dollar store. And I added a little bit of that other dollar store um, material as well. Um, just to get things going here. So hopefully the flames get this thing uh, lit up. But we'll see. I got a little mismatch of everything going on in there, so. Once we get the, once it, we get it drafting here, we'll be good, I think. Let's move the camera back. So, yeah, I'm gonna set the fire up, turn my fan on up here, and be back with you guys in a little bit. Warm this place up. Hey guys, finished watching that movie. Uh, it's I don't even I didn't even give you guys a time frame, but 60.8 Fahrenheit inside, and the humidity's gone down, which is good. And it's 52.7 out, so not much of a huge difference. But I am letting the fire die down. Um, show you guys here in a second. I just got a little bit of, you know, coals drying down. I could add more and it would just catch right up again, but um, probably ready, ready to head back here shortly. Um, I did some cleaning as well in the back storage room, which it definitely needed. So I kind of tidied up. Um, I got all my fire starting stuff here. I got a bunch of paperwork I gotta put somewhere. I got, th these are the fans that I repaired and they're working. And then there's a bunch of spare wire for other projects. I got my meter, some little tools here. And just little knickknacks and stuff. Um, I'm gonna attempt to take apart that DVD player eventually because uh, I gotta get that thing to work. That is ridiculous. Spend that kind of money. But, uh, yeah, we're slowly getting there. Um, I'm going to attempt to possibly hang this aerial if uh, the weather stays okay, but probably not today. And, yeah. Um, one thing I noticed, guys, with those new... 3 amp quick charge DC DC converters. Um, I noticed uh, they are working. I'll just show you quickly. I have um, batteries charging. I found some more rechargeables that are charging up here. Um, give you guys some of the points on that but um, down below here this guy is now fully charged so is this guy and there's no indicator about the iZoom LED light but this guy's sitting at 99% 88% and this guy's still 56 now this is the one I built the blue one something tells me Something's wrong with these batteries, as far as I can tell. Because uh, it's been stuck at that for a while. I wonder if I need to discharge these more or try a different power source. But I don't get it. Um, everything's in float. And they do have a blue, small blue LED light 
that glows on either of them, which is all right. And the timer here is controlling, um, I just got it on manual, and that's uh, the timer I was using there. And uh, what else? Yeah, I gotta hook this up eventually. Probably when I take down the solar panels. And I gotta plan that out. Because we're getting pretty crappy weather. And uh, I wanna do a whole day of like work outside. Taking the panels down. Um, I gotta remove the wires, shut everything down. And then I think this, where these uh, wires are coming in guys I have to basically fill this hole in and cut a new hole on this side for the solar panels because um, as I said in the future we're gonna hang uh, eave trough to catch rainwater on along this entire length of this tiny house here and uh, that'll be about 48 feet long and should catch a pretty good amount of water and then we can start filling up totes with that but the wires in the solar panel rails are in the way so they got to be moved <laughs> 